What is up, everybody? My name is Crypto at the Dipto, and that is exactly where I like to buy. If you are new to my channel, check out my other videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome back. And today I'm going to discuss the importance of market cap, what it is, and how you can mess around with a couple cryptos so you can see their price points in the future. And it's going to give you a better understanding of how you can invest and how you can become a better investor. But before we get into that, if you could. If you can smash that like button, I want to come up with something that sounds cooler. Yo, if you can tap that like button, I'm just going to stick with the original thing. If you can smash that like button, drop a comment, maybe on something you'd want to see me do a video on, or just say hello. It's Christmas time. Be nice to me, okay? Um, I, would I would very much appreciate that. So if you are new here, my channel is about entertainment, crypto, self-growth, and just growing overall. If those are things you're into, hit that S-U-B-S-R-C-I-B-E button. That was way too long to spell out, but yes, let's get right into the video today. But before we get into that video, it is Christmas time. So I'm going to show you five things that I own and that I think are amazing. Why? Why not? Let's do it. There's no rules on this channel. Are you kidding me? One is obviously going to be a book because I love books. How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is by far the best book that I've ever read. And I continue to keep reading this book. This book is about 250 pages, but every single paragraph you read is highly important and it teaches you something. Dale Carnegie, the author, wrote this book over decades and it's absolutely amazing. Two, if you work construction or outside, you gotta get this. O'Keefe's Working Hands. You put this on while you sleep, fill, it, fill in your little cracks. Who said men can't have beautiful hands too? You gotta, you gotta stay lotioned up. Three, I don't know if anybody ever heard of this. This is called a backbone. So I got it for PlayStation, but this is for the iPhone. I'm pretty sure they make it for Android too. I got the new iPhone 15 uh, Pro Max, so they changed the charging cable. It's type C, but this, you put your phone in there, you stretch it out, put your phone in there, and now your phone is a gaming device. You can, if you have a PS5 or an Xbox, now you can play on your phone, on the go, if you have cloud service. Cool. Somebody wants it, let me know. I mean, my fourth essential, Christmas fake candle. You gotta set the vibe. You gotta, you, you just gotta, you gotta set the vibe. And oh, uh, no, no wax on me, oops. Can't fall asleep, can't burn the house down. Perfect. Fourth, we got an essential, cause you gotta smell good. All right, guys, it's what the women like, and you just gotta smell good. Why wouldn't you wanna smell good? Burberry Hero. I should have called this Christmas guide. And last but not least, you can get a 3D printed Gengar. Cause Pokemon, at my age, why not? <laughs> Screw it. All right, now let's jump into the real, <laughs> the real video that you guys are here for. So whether you're new or not, this is definitely a good re uh, refresher course, but if you are new, definitely stick to the end because I'm going to give you a couple of vital things. And when I say couple, I mean, yeah, it's going to be quick. It's going to be short. It's going to be sweet. But these are things that you carry on with you for the rest of your life. Okay. So basically when looking on coinmarketcap.com or a uh, drops tab or whatever you decide to use to look at your cryptos, I use drops tab. I used to use coin market cap. I do go in between the two, but that's basically like I wake up, that's the first website I go to. I look at the price, I look at the volume, I look at what's going on, how many people are commenting, what's just what's going on in general, right? So whichever one you prefer, or maybe you use one that I didn't mention, you're gonna look at and you're gonna see something that says market cap. So market cap is basically the size of a company. Literally, it's the cap of the market. The, it's the market cap, okay? In order to get the market cap of a company, what you're gonna wanna do is, is you're gonna take the price of the crypto and then you're gonna times it by the cryptos that are in circulation, okay? So multiply current market price of a crypto or coin and you multiply it by the total number of cryptos slash coins in circulation, okay? So this is like singly the most important indicator of like, yeah, the project and what's going on. Um, so the higher the market cap is on a project, usually the more dominant. And you can see that with uh, Bitcoin, it's right around 900 million, which the market cap right now is 1.5 trillion. So round that up to a trillion, Bitcoin runs the game, okay? 
So then if you scroll down a little bit more, you see something that says FDV. That's gonna stand for fully diluted value. So basically take those words and dissect them sometimes. You can't always do that, but if you do, it kind of makes sense. Fully diluted value. You know, like you have a drink, there's ice cubes, it's diluted. I think that's the right word. So FDV, fully diluted value, basically stands for this. If Bitcoin right now, just for argument's sake, is at 30,000, but in the circulating supply right now is only 19 million, you know that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin in existence. So all that FDV means is, is you taking the current price and timesing it by the max amount that exists in that crypto. So in Bitcoin's case, it would be 21 million. So you take the price right now, the current price, and times it by 21 million, and it's gonna give you a price that, that will be potentially in the future if the price stays the same and all Bitcoins are in circulating supply. So that's what FDV is, that's a fully diluted value. So now when it comes to market cap, you're going to hear people talk on Twitter. You're going to hear people talk everywhere, wherever you do your research and wherever you post and wherever you study crypto, you're going to hear people talk about, you know, uh, small cap, micro cap, uh, large cap. Now there's generally rule of thumb. There's three market cap types and categories that you can place them in. It's going to be large cap, mid cap, small cap, and then you have micro cap. Okay. But for large cap, it's gonna be any crypto coin, crypto or coin, that has a market cap over 10 billion, okay? And that's usually gonna be on the safer side. The large caps, they tend to be um, lower risk, who knows reward, okay? So the next one in that category would be mid cap coins, okay, or cryptos. So that's gonna be anything that's between $1 billion to $10 billion. Now these are gonna be medium risk who knows what crypto it's how you doing it's volatile all right so now for the third and final category that we have it's small cap so small cap crypto coin is going to be anything that is under one billion dollars and now i don't know the legit definition for micro cap but or like a, a gem a gem is like you know a gem is a gem like you see a gem you pick it up, you're like, wow, holy shit, I can't believe nobody found this. That's a gem in crypto. Same shit. You find it, you're like, wow, it doesn't have that much money in it, and it could explode, okay? So a small cap is anything that's under 1 billion market cap. So in order to get the, the market cap of Bitcoin at the, film, at the filming of this video, the current price of Bitcoin right now is $41,828. So you would take your current price, and you would times it by the Bitcoin that is in circulation. Okay, so that would be 19.5 million. So when you times 41,828 times 19.5 million, you get 815 billion, 646 million dollars. And that's roughly what it's floating at right now. Now, if we were, if we were to do the FDV, which stands for fully diluted value, what would you get? Now, remember what I said about FDV. Keep in mind the first word if you get a little confused. Fully. Right there, that word, what does full mean? To capacity, maximum. So just think of it like that, fully diluted value. So it's basically the full amount. That would be 21 million. Because there, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. So when you, if you have trouble remembering these little terms and these acronyms, just try and maybe remember it that way. FDV, fully diluted value, it's full. So now I know to use the full amount, which is 21 million. So in order to get the FDV of what Bitcoin would be if 21 million were in circulation with the current price that is right now, you do $41,893, because that's what the Bitcoin is at the filming, and you would times it by 21 million. And what you would get is, is you would get 879 billion, 758 million, dollars okay and that would be the fully diluted value of the company if all bitcoin were in circulation and it stood at this price i'm gonna give my prediction of what i think bitcoin is gonna hit during this bull run and trust me i hate doing prediction videos because i know somebody's gonna come back and be like no nope, you were seven dollars off your shit you garbage you stink quit youtube you're you just straight doo-doo okay so whatever, I'm going to do a safe, ass, safe guesstimate. Let's put it that way. So in my mind, this is how I came to this number. I'm just thinking, I'm like, 
how much money did this is how you have to think in life in order to progress in life okay ever since i entered crypto i think about shit like this all the time so in my mind i don't want to just guess and be like oh you know, yeah bitcoin's gonna be like 500,000. i kind of want to do it in a smart type of way and this is how my brain thinks and maybe if i show you how my brain thinks it can open up other possibilities for you because i'm just here to film my journey i absolutely love filming videos i don't care how many people watch i mean of course i care but like at the end of the day i do this because it's fun and i truly do want people to be aware about crypto i want people to be happy i want people to be mentally spiritually physically strong and grow like <laughs> i know i'm here for a reason and to me my reason is to help people I really do enjoy helping people. The older I get, the more I want to give back and not receive. It's just, it's a great feeling and I truly do love doing this. And if you love my content, if you enjoy my content, if you smiled, if you laughed one time at least, consider giving me a subscribe. And then listen, if I pop up on your feed and you think I'm so annoying or I'm so ugly, just unsubscribe. It helps me, it helps you. Because you will get a lot of information and a lot of laughs. I promise you that. <clears throat> so like in my head, I'm thinking how many people got unemployment? How much money was given out during the, the pandemic? So the CARES Act, $2.3 trillion was given out. So then I Google how many people worldwide own crypto, 420 million crypto users worldwide. You know, so with these numbers, you, you can start to crunch down a little things. Now out of the $2.3 trillion, $2 trillion given out, how much of that do you think went to crypto? I don't know. 500 million, 200 million, who knows? But you can start taking these numbers and you can start visualizing and playing around with it, okay? So keep in mind, Bitcoin was one penny. At its all-time high, which was $68,000, if you would've got in at a penny, that's a 680,000 X on your money. Imagine you put in $2, woo, you would still have a lot of money, but like that's crazy, right? So now these are my three predictions, right? So if one Bitcoin, was to 3x, that means it would hit $125,898 per one Bitcoin. And that would be with the circulating supply of 19.56 million. The, the market cap would be 2.46 trillion. Okay, so that's not crazy because crypto was way above that at one point. Okay, so my second example would be if one Bitcoin 3x, it would be 125,898, <clears throat> but I bumped up the circulating supply to 19.8 million, which would bring the market cap to $2.49 trillion, okay? Now my third guesstimate is gonna be if one Bitcoin 4 x Now this is a little on the crazy side, but okay. So if it was to 4 x and that means one Bitcoin would be 167,000, eight hundred sixty four dollars the um the with a current circulating supply put of 19.7 million that means that the total market cap would be 3.30 trillion now listen this is highly possible because we went above three trillion in the last bull run okay so to lock in my guess for what bitcoin is going to be at this is a guesstimate don't hold me to it i think it's going to get to an all-time high of one hundred forty six dollars and wait one hundred forty six thousand three hundred fifty eight dollars now i pick a specific number because if it lands on that number i'm gonna i'm gonna go ape shit okay so i just want to tell you guys a little bit uh give you a couple random things that you could buy on your own that you could check out it's christmas time uh i wanted to give you my price prediction and i wanted to remind you and if you are new here, I wanted to teach you that there is three types of micro, uh, three types of categories when it comes to market cap, or four if you want to include micro, which means absolutely tiny, just like, just like your boy. I actually won this because uh, I have a house in Poland and we uh, we raised chickens and I, I was in a competition. It's not, it's not what you think. I promise. So yeah. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching my channel. My name is Crypto at the Dip, though. And that is where I like to buy. And I, I just hope you have a fucking phenomenal day. Peace. <laughs>